Let's start with I need the weather in Paris and some images to confirm this. So now we will call up our weather agent and read out the weather report and hopefully give us some images from this. So let's just listen. Good day. I'm your weather agent. The current weather in Paris is around 14 degrees Celsius with overcast clouds. It's best to keep an umbrella handy as the cloudy sky may bring some rain. Stay tuned for more updates. Okay, and now hopefully the image pop-ups. Yeah, so we catch the webcam we found on Windy from the API. So yeah, you can see it. We have some clouds and stuff. So that works pretty good. And now we can kind of follow up with uh, what we can do today to ask the travel agent that. So I had two hours to spend in Paris. They'll take the weather in consideration and suggest an activity for me as a man in my 30s. So let's hear now. This is your travel agent speaking. Here are your suggested activities. Explore the Louvre Museum for an afternoon of art and history. Visit the catacombs of Paris for an intriguing underground adventure. Enjoy a cozy cafe experience with a book in the Le Marais district. Attend a wine testing session at a local wine bar to savor French wines. So yeah, I don't know if that was actually for a man in his 30s, but we got four suggestions. It was pretty okay. So this is how this setup works. Uh, we're going to dive more into the swarm, so I'm going to show you exactly how you can use the swarm framework to set up some simple triage agents. Okay, so it's been a while now since OpenAI put this up on the repo. So that was the swarm framework, I think they call it. It's pretty much kind of simplistic. It's not that advanced, if you ask me. Uh, but we can try it today. Uh, I thought we can do that. So I created a repo. Uh, it's open so you can just go test it out for yourself. So you can find it over here. So I think we're just going to follow my instructions here. Set this up and I'm going to show you these triad agents that can yeah, do some interesting cool stuff with the Google Maps API and some yeah, pretty cool stuff. So let's just do this. So uh, I'm going to copy this. Let's just clone this repo. And uh, let's just see the into this, right? So you can see here is our agents. We have an env file where we need an open AI key, Google Maps API key if you want to use that, open weather API key so we can just fill out that. Uh, everything should be free except the open AI API key. Uh, so I'm just gonna go grab those uh, uh, API keys and let me show you how this works now. So we're just gonna continue down here. We're gonna create a VNV, right? So let's just do that. Uh, because we need to install some stuff here. Let's act. Activate this. Okay. Uh, activate. Okay, that's good. And let's do like a pip install our requirements because we need to install this uh, swarm library. All right. We have already set our env, and I'm just gonna run it. So you can see here are the requirements. So we have this link to the swarm request python dot env. That's basically all we need. So I'm just going to let this install now and then we can check it out. Don, uh, let me just show you. I think I'm just going to show you the first the agents we have now, right? Uh, if you go here, we have the agents. So we have three different agents. We have the triads agent that is going to uh, yeah, guide who is going to talk. So we have the plan agent, we have the Google Maps agent and the weather agent. So the triage agent is who decides... If you go to the prompts, so we have a prompts.py here. So the, the triage instructions is to send the request over to the plan agent, Google Maps agent, or weather agent, right? You're out, uh, and we have some plan instructions, Google Maps instructions, and the weather agent instructions, everything in this prompts.py. And these agents have tools. We have the transfer tools, right? To transfer to the correct agent and back to the triage agent. We have the get Google Maps direction tool. We have the get weather tool. Uh, and yeah, that is, that is all the functions we have. So if we go back to the agents, you can see what kind of tools are available. Transfer to plan, transfer to Google Maps, transfer to weather. That's a triage agent. Uh, the Google Maps agent has uh, the tool to get the maps directions. The weather agents can get the weather, right? So it's pretty straightforward. The plan agent doesn't have any tools. You can just answer using GPT-40. So I had a lot of questions about how these agents works. So basically for me, it's just uh, an agent has access to some kind of tool and can execute this tool based on the user's query. And this query can also be instructed from another agent. 
Uh, that's what we're gonna do today. So I'm just gonna show you how this setup works. Then we can dive a bit more in uh, to see exactly what happens. So if I run this now, you can see we are starting up the Swarm CLI, right? Should I zoom in more? Yeah, we can do it like this. Uh, starting the Swarm CLI, and now we can do a question. So let me come up with something. So let's just do, I need the directions to travel from London to Paris by car. So now this should be handed over to the travel agent or Google Maps agent. Okay, so you can see, here's a Google Maps link for a direction. So now we get a link here, so we can open up this, right? And this should be a Google Maps link with the directions from London to Paris, right? So you can see, uh, we said by car, but we also get by plane and by train, I think. Uh, yeah, so that works pretty good. And now we can kind of follow up if we wanted to. Uh, can I get the weather for this route, right? And this should be Paris and London, right? So you can see it grabbed the weather for London and Paris, right? Okay, great. Uh, we can follow up with something else now. I can do, oh, I forgot. I need to make a stop in Nice before Paris. I need new directions. So let's see what happens now. Uh, okay, so we have a new link, right? And this should be a waypoint. So this should be London, Nice and Paris. So you can see now we are going from London down here all the way to Nice and up again. And then we go back to Paris. So this is a 23 hour trip, right? Uh, so that's pretty cool. And now you can see we can do like... The, just do the weather too, so this should understand that we want the weather for Nice, right? So see, okay, so we got Nice too, right? So that's pretty good. So yeah, this is how this works. So I'm just gonna dive a bit more into kind of how uh, we kind of set this up. Uh, so let's just close this. Uh, so it's not that hard, we are using the Swarm fla fra framework, framework. So it's basically... You can see uh, when the user puts in like a query, this gets sent to whatever agent that can solve this issue by using tools. So it's not that complicated. I think this framework is fine, but it's not needed. You can easily set this up yourself by just using function calling. Uh, but I kind of like the structure here. We have the agents, right? That's pretty compact. We have the prompts for the agents, so we can import that. And we have the tools for the agents. So I kind of like the, the way we structure this. We structure it into tools, agents, and prompts. I think that's very simple. And here you can see we have three uh, arguments. The origin, the destination, and sometimes we have waypoints. So this was a waypoint, right? We wanted to add here. So yeah, I don't know what else to say. I guess this framework works pretty good. So let's see if we can actually do some try arching here. So I can do, can I talk to the maps agent? So now you can see, uh, uh, they want me to specify, uh, I just need to talk. Okay, so now you can see it transferred me to this Google Maps agent. That's fine, that try arch works. Uh, oh, um, oh, I meant the plan agent right so now it's gonna transfer me back hopefully yeah transfer back to triage transfer to plan so this is how this is how this works so you can think of like you can have bunch of these agents and the trials agent is gonna send you to the correct agent that kind of has the correct prompts right because if we ask the plan agents to find the google maps that's not gonna work so this is kind of how this is set up. It's not something revolutionary, but it, it works pretty good. And I, I kind of like the triage thing. I think it's very structured and kind of nice to set up. So what happens if we... Let's try to ask the plan agent to make a plan for us now. So I can do... I need the best route from New York to Miami by car. So now I'm wondering if uh, this is going to be sent to the maps agent. Okay, so we got the plan agent. So here you can see the plan agent recommend we start in New York City, take the I-95 and key stops. And now we can kind of follow up with the maps agent. 
So we can just do make a direction map for me with a stop in Philadelphia and Jacksonville, right? And you can see we get this link. So hopefully now, yeah, you can see we go from New York to Philadelphia to Jacksonville to Miami, right? And we added all the waypoints. So yeah, this is how it's work. It's, it's not much else to say, actually. So I, I want to just advise you if you want to play around with this, just go to my repo here and then you can change up the agents. It doesn't have to be uh, these travel agents and with these tools and these prompts. I think this is just a simple framework. So you can just swap out all these instructions here and these tools with the tools you want, right? This could be anything. You can add in like image uh, analyst from GPT-40. Just do a bunch of other tools here. Uh, so what I actually think about this is, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool, but it's nothing revolutionary. I think it's a pretty neat setup, and it makes it a bit more structured. So that is kind of my takeaway from this swarm framework or what they call it. But in the intro, you can hear I use this voice agent. So this is a bit of a different thing since uh, now. Uh, the OpenAI API allows audio generation from the chat completion, right? So uh, you can do all the output and all the input and all the output. So this goes all the ways. Uh, but today I I'm just looked at all the output, right? So we can use this new model, GPT-40 audio preview. The issue is it's so expensive. So you can't almost not use it because it's so expensive. It's it's the same price as the real-time API, so that kind of limits everything. But I have tried it out, and it's, yeah, it works. But it's so expensive, I don't know. Uh, it has to come a bit down for me, the price, before I can start using it fully. Uh, but the API uh, is very neat. You just import base64, and we set it up like this. So we have the modalities, text and audio. We have a WAV file we can play. So that's simple to set up. We set the voice. And it's really easy to set up here, right? And we can play this and stuff. So uh, that is the good thing. Uh, I, I really like the OpenAI documentation and the API. They, they do a great job on this, right? Uh, other than that, there's not much else to say. You can see here they have the text in, text plus audio out, audio in, audio in. I, I kind of like the audio in part. We don't do any whisper translations, but we just put the audio in i think it's gonna go to base 64 or something and yeah uh, uh, it works pretty good for my for what i have tested uh, but i kind of was inspired by the swarm so i set this up so this was what you saw in the intro uh, i don't know we can do one more run of it but it's nothing revolutionary but basically we have the the same agents we have a webcam agent that uses the windy api to go get some web cameras we have the weather agent that uses um, uh, open weather map. Yeah, don't mind my key here. And you can see get weather uh, with audio, right? So here you can see we are using the GPT-40 preview, audio preview model. The modalities is text and audio. We have the web file. And here we have introduce yourself as a weather agent, provide brief reporting, right? And we get the text response. And we need something to play the voice, right? For that, I'm using simple audio. So this will generate a VAV file. And we're just going to play that uh, on the response. So it's nothing more advanced than that. But the issue is, like I said, it's so expensive, right? So you can see we are playing it here. Try to play the audio, but continue if it fails, right? So, yeah, I guess I demoed that already, but let's just do one quick test here. So when we start this now, we can just do, I uh, need the uh, weather in Oslo, right? So now this is just gonna use the tool, search up the weather. You can see it got this query and it's gonna return Hello, the audio. I'm your weather agent. Currently in Oslo, the temperature is approximately 12 degrees Celsius and there is a light rain. Please stay tuned for updated conditions. Stay safe and enjoy your day. Yeah, okay, so she did that work, right? The current weather is, and this is the response that we kind of read out. So, yeah. 
but what is pretty cool uh, is that we can also do since this is like an agentic framework with context we can follow up now since we know the weather is kind of bad it's cold and it's raining we can follow up something that's going to be transferred to our travel agent because in the start agent code here we have something called main agent so this is the main coordinator so this is going to send if the query is about weather use the this function if it's about travel use this so this is going to switch between different functions we can use right so uh, let me just ask something here so let's just do okay okay what's a good thing to do in oslo today i got two hours so hopefully now this will consider this the weather your travel agent speaking here are your suggested activities visit the viking ship museum to explore ancient maritime treasures okay so that that was it since it's raining you might enjoy visiting the museum Blah, 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 blah. It's a great way to spend a couple of hours indoors. So you can see this is taking into consideration that the weather is bad, right? So that is already in context. Uh, other than that, I don't know. Is there anything else to say about this? I would just play around with this because uh, on this channel, I'm definitely going to focus more on this and trying to build out bigger uh, H agentic work workflows. Uh, yeah, I have some ideas I want to test out, but... Yeah, this is kind of the voice part. It's nothing very special, but I kind of like the setup. But again, it's too expensive. I can't really use this too much now because it's just draining my, my cost, right? But yeah, if you want to go try this out, just go to follow the link in the description. You will come to this repo here and you can just try this. It's a very simple setup. This is a trials agent part, so you can just try that. Just remember to put up your ENB uh, files and stuff. So play around with it. Uh, I think this is going to be interesting going forward. And I, yeah, like I said, I have something in the works. That's going to be pretty cool, I think. So just follow along the channel. Give this video a like if you like it. Uh, yeah. And thank you for the support. If you want to become a member, I plan to do some more members videos going forward. So you can follow the link. Become a member of the channel if you want access to the more in-depth tutorials. And yeah, thank you for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed it. And we speaks again very soon.